With cystinosis, cystin refers to cysteine, an amino acid, and osis implies disease. So, cystinosis is a rare condition caused by mutations of the CTNS gene that leads to a cysteine buildup in the body. This can cause tissue damage, especially in the kidneys and eyes. Cysteine is an amino acid that comes from our diet. So when food travels through the stomach and intestines, the proteins within are broken down into tiny fragments called oligopeptides, or small strings of amino acids. Turnover of muscle, bone, and other parts of the body provide another source of protein that can be broken down into oligopeptides. Many of these oligopeptides end up in specialized vesicles called lysosomes found inside all of our cells. Here, they are further broken up into amino acids like cysteine. Now, Cysteine, like any other amino acid, has to leave the lysosome, and it does this with the help of a specific protein, the CTNS gene, and codes for the protein cystinosin, a transporter that is found embedded in the lysosomal membrane. Its function is to export cysteine out of the lysosome. Now, in cystinosis, any one of over 100 mutations can affect the CTNS gene, leading to a defective cysteine transporter. Without a working transporter, Cysteine has no way of leaving the lysosome, so it accumulates, turning into cysteine crystals in the process. Crystals that slowly damage organs, like the kidneys and eyes. In general, humans have two copies of their genes, so both must be damaged for there to be so little cysteine transport that cystinosis occurs. That means that a person with cystinosis must receive a mutated CTNS gene from both the mother and father. For each such mating, there's a 25% chance that both parents will pass down their own CTNS mutation to their offspring. Now, depending on the CTNS gene mutation, three types of cystinosis can develop that differ in the age of onset and severity of symptoms. They are nephropathic or infantile, late onset, and ocular. Nephropathic or infantile cystinosis is the most common and most severe form of cystinosis. In this disease, the kidneys are affected, and the infants develop Fanconi syndrome, a condition where minerals and nutrients are not absorbed, but instead are excreted in the urine. So, some of the symptoms are linked to the kidneys like excessive thirst, excessive urination, electrolyte imbalances, vomiting and dehydration, with or without fever. Other symptoms include the failure to thrive, cysteine crystals in the cornea, and elevated cysteine levels in white blood cells. We are coming to realize that there's a spectrum of severity in cystinosis, and the three subtypes can be difficult to differentiate. A diagnosis of cystinosis is based upon identification of characteristic symptoms, a detailed patient history, a thorough clinical evaluation, and a variety of specialized tests. The specialized test includes measuring cysteine levels in certain white blood cells and molecular genetic testing. Treatment of cystinosis is directed toward the specific symptoms that are apparent in each person. But overall, cysteamine, a cysteine-depleting agent, is the first-line treatment for cystinosis. All right. As a quick recap, cystinosis is a rare condition caused by mutations of the CTNS gene that leads to a cysteine buildup in the body, causing damage to organs like the kidneys and eyes. The CTNS gene encodes for the protein cystinosin, a transporter that is found embedded in the lysosomal membrane. Its function is to export cysteine out of the lysosome. Three types of cystinosis can develop, nephropathic or infantile, late onset, and ocular. Nephropathic cystinosis is the most common and severe, and ocular cystinosis only affects the eyes. It's diagnosed with specialized tests like measuring cysteine levels in certain white blood cells and molecular genetic testing. And it's treated with cysteamine, a cysteine-depleting agent.